Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to model this wheel uh, using the awesome surfacing power of Rhino. This is a photograph of the finished product that was a CNC machined. It was programmed using Rhino Cam. The inside was then painted and it was mounted on a mandrel and the outside was uh, machined on a lathe. Here is the finished wheel. I'm just going to show you a rendered image of that and you can see this really cool pattern here and that's really what we're interested in today so I'm gonna go ahead and get started I'm gonna turn on all the curves I used to create this and what, what we're gonna to do to start with is we're going to loft the surface of that uh, curved pattern and we're, what we're gonna be using is these two orange curves here but I'm gonna show you how we create those so let's go ahead and do that. I'll turn these ones off. And we'll come into this view right here. And let's go ahead and rebuild these curves so they've got the correct number of control points. So F10 will turn them on. And we need 16 points to be able to pull. We've got eight spokes, so we need 16 points to create this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and rebuild this. Okay, so we've already got 16 there, so let's say okay, it's, we want a degree 3 curve, and we'll turn those off. So I'm going to start with this one, I'm going to go ahead and select every other point, so we'll start with those two, I'm going to hold the shift key, and that will allow me to keep selecting these points, okay, we've got those we want to come into this view here and I'm going to pull those curves down those points down rather that looks close to... so let's go ahead we'll lift that up yeah that was a good guess I got that first time so let's go ahead and do the other one F10 will turn the points on. Go ahead and select those. So hold the shift key. Okay, we got those. So let's go into the bottom view here. Pull those down. I should have mentioned what I'm using the gumball in Rhino in version 5 to move these things. Let's see how that looks. Pull that down. Wow, that was a good guess. Okay, so I got them both first time, so uh, looks good. What we're going to do now is, I think I'll turn those off now, use the loft command to create that surface. Make sure the arrows are going the same way they are and we want it to be loose. We don't want to simplify it and say okay. So we got that. Now let's turn these curves back on and I need to create the surface for that inside area and I'm going to use this. I've already created this. This is straightforward modeling. I'm not going to waste time showing you how to model a simple shape like that but I am going to use this surface so I'm just going to say solid extract surface and then I'm going to change the layer to the current one okay and then I'll turn that back off so now we got that curve I need to create the inside one uh, uh, we got that surface I'm going to use this curve here and it strewed a curve straight and that will create that inside area that we can use for trimming. It doesn't matter how big you make that because it's going to be trimmed away. But now we want to create that really cool sweep on this. So I'm going to show you how we do that using a command called Milestrom. And I think, yeah, that's it. Okay. So I'm going to move that over there. So we'll select this button. It asked me for the object to deform. 
and then it wants the center so we'll put the center on it's here I want ortho one to start with I want to come beyond this trimming uh, surface or curve here so we're going to come just beyond that and just outside of it like so then I need to turn ortho off to be able to rotate this thing and I'm just going to show you what it looks like in the extreme okay we've got that really wild swirly pattern render that so you can see you can get some pretty pretty nice effects with that but that's not what we're looking for so I'm gonna go ahead and undo that and re redo it with the correct amount of rotation that we're looking for so I'll reselect that pick the center here I want ortho on initially. I want to come out beyond this thing. About there's good enough. And then beyond the outside here. So we'll turn that back off. And then I'm going to come around and I'm looking at the angle down here. Uh, well, that's about what I'm looking for right there so we'll come ahead look at over here what that yeah that looks pretty nice so, so we'll go ahead and trim these let's trim them one and that's it enter and then we'll join those together and I'm gonna f close that off so I'll just create a surface using planar curves to close that off and join that together and then let's bring those pieces back up here so what I'm going to do now I could just join that up um, in fact why don't I just do that so let's join this and this and then what we need to do now is create this outside tire surface and then we're gonna go ahead and make this a solid so we'll use a new layer here to do that so I'm gonna sweep two rails to create that so surface sweep two rails I'll use that as the first rail it doesn't matter whether you use the curve or the surface edge I like to use the surface edge and then it wants another cross section so that's this enter I'm not going to simplify that all looks good I don't need to add any slashes on this particular one so that looks pretty good so if I go ahead and make this a solid and join those together okay when it automatically just changes like that you know that, that it's it's a solid so if I was to analyze that show edges okay there's no naked edges there so that's good okay so now let's ghost the image so I can see this curve here so I'm going to use some solid commands now I'm going to uh, extrude the curve straight from there and then I'll just do a boolean difference So we got that and then I'm gonna I'll use the wire cut command to just remove that material there so we'll just type wire cut right there enter for that the cutting curve is this one the object to cut would be this 
So we'll hit enter. It's I, I want to go all the way through, so I'll hit enter again, and that's the area I want to remove. So enter again, and we've gone right through. Let's take a look. Yeah, that looks good. So let's just extract this as a solid. So let's extract this surface and put it on extract surface. Put it on that layer so we can make it black for rendering. So edit layers, change object to current layer, and let's go ahead and render it and see what it looks like. There you go. So if I turn the curves off, that's what it's going to look like. But I think I'll go ahead and fill at these edges and make it look a little better. So in We'll go back to the shaded view and I'll join that back up. Actually, I don't need to do that. So let's, we'll still use the solid command and fill it. And the radius, we'll go 0 0.01, enter. We'll do this one first. We've got a full one there, yeah, that looks good. And that one, and that one. And that looks pretty good. Now this one I think has to be a bit smaller. It's a little tight in there. Uh, so let's do it again and we'll change that radius to 0.005. Yeah, we got that, that and that. That looks pretty good so let's go ahead we'll render that and we got a beautiful transition in there and there and all the way around and that's it so that's how to use the milestone command and, and loft to create what is a pretty complex surface but made really really easy so thank you very much for watching